In our today's video, for HTML code for beginners, a prompt is required to advance. Let's start it. See the next tag that is called the table tags. Now, now think that in your page you want to create a certain tables for showing certain data. So, in order to create the tables with the help of HTML itself in your web pages, you need to add a tag called as the table tag. So, once you're going to add a table tag, the browser is going to understand that, okay, you're going to create a table like this. So, this will be created in the background. Next, in this table tag, you have certain tags for the table. So, if you want to create the rows, you're going to create it like this. And these rows will be created with the help of TR tag that is table row. Next, to create the columns like this, you have another tag that is a TD tag that is table data. Whatever data you want to add inside it, you need to add it inside the TD data. Next, you have TH data that is whatever headings you want to give for your table. In order to add the headings for your table, you have a tag called as TH tag. Next, if you want to give certain caption for your table, you have a caption tag. Now then, then there are these three that is T head, T body and T foot. So whatever data, if you want to arrange these data so that it doesn't get clumsier, then you need to add T head and inside the T head, you're going to give the TH data. T body, inside this T body, you can create your table rows and table head table data. And T foot also can have a TR and TD tags. And there are certain attributes as well. You can specify the, specify the height and width for your table. You can give the background a color for your table background. That is any image can be added for your table. Any BG color that is the background color can be added. Then there are other four attributes which we are going to see in some time. First, we are going to just specify these tags and these attributes let us see them in visual studio so next in order to create a table first we are going to just open the show preview tag so that it is going to show us the preview as well so inside this preview now next we are going to create the table now if you want to see the border for the table you just have to give border one or any border you want you can specify it so you can see a small square is being given now, later you also need to specify certain height and width for your table. So, I'll just specify, okay, without specifying the height and width also it can be done. First, let us do it in the normal way and then let us specify the height and width. Next. Now, for our table, I'm just going to create a four rows, I, I mean, three rows and three columns. So, first, three rows. Inside these three rows, you need to specify the column. PD, I'm just going to add a name. Now we can see one data is being created here, another TD, H. Now we can see another column is being created. In the same way, another TD, I'll give email. I'll save it. Now we can see we have created one row and three columns. So there is one row and there are three columns within it. In the same way, I just want two more columns to be done. So now we can see that these are the three rows and three columns. In the name section, I'm just going to add here, add in Rohit, age will be 24. And the email I'll give at roh dot at rate gmail.com right next i'm gonna just give your as honey ishwaydo and the email i'm gonna give honey at the rate gmail.com now you can see that we have three rows and three column table so this is how you can use your tr and td tag now let us specify the height and width. Height is equals to 200 and the width is equals to 50. Now you can see according to the height and width that I have given, the table is being changed. Now for this table, you can also give the background. Background is equals to 
inside this background so you have this image here i'll just give it as a part part 3 dot apt let's save this okay b a c k so now you can see that the background is also been given for this in case if you don't want to give the background you can also give the background color for that particular table all you need to do is bg color is equals to yellow so now we can see that bg color yellow is being given now in order to change this th to th now you can see that the name it only is being centralized here and also it is being given the bold format now if you can see for the age as well it is done the same thing for the email and here we are done with our headings these are the headings and these are the contents that are there if you want to give a different background color for your headings then also you can use a different background color for only one particular row so i'll be using here so you can see that the row where you have the headings i have given it as in pink color so this is how you can play with your html content in your source document now next is if i think that i have forgot to add this headings and i have just added those headings here down somewhere so but i don't want them even if i have added so the things in the bottom i want them to display it in the first itself for that you have these three tags that is the t header ta tag t body tag and t foot tag so whatever you are going to encapsulate within your t header tag will always be in the top of your table always it will be in the top of the table you can add that content anywhere below or in between or anywhere but that is going to stay on top of your table in the same way you have for the body as well and for the foot as well if you are going to add something for the foot then that is going to be in the foot always it is not going to change its position so this is how you can use your t head t body and t foot tr tag td tag border attribute height attribute width attribute bg color attribute and the background attribute for your a, uh, to create the table in html the next we are going to learn are the cell padding cell spacing column spacing row spacing attribute so what is the meaning of this cell padding what is the meaning of the cell padding attribute as the name specifies here padding that is adding some extra space to the particular cells now for example if you can see that your table is something like this and the data inside these tables are being written from the getting attached to the walls of the table let us see this once again now if you see here there is no space between the wall and the r that is there in order to add that spacing you need you are going to use your cell padding attribute now if i am going to give a cell padding just check this out as equals to 2 save this you can see that there is certain space between the wall and the r if i'm going to give 20 now check that this is being encapsulated in the middle so now 20 pixels you can say for an example will be left from the left side from the right side from the top and from the bottom so this is how you can add certain padding that is extra padding for the cell next you have another one that is called as cell spacing attribute now what is this cell spacing attribute if you see this properly table if you see this table properly here the pink color i have added for the complete row but there are certain bricks here that are giving me certain yellow shade so i don't want this double line for my table i just want it the single line so in order to do that you just have to give cell spacing as zero 
when once when you are going to give it as zero you can see that the space between the cells that is there that will be reduced to zero if you want to increase the spacing between the cells you can just give it as any number you want but for me now i'll just give it as zero so that there is no space between these two all the cells inter cell there is no spacing between the cells next you have column span and a row span so this column span and row span it is a just a little trickier one let us see this entirely with a, some different example itself I just delete it so inside my table i just be creating a table here and inside this table i'm just going to create a tr td i'll give it as a column row 1 row 1 column 1 in the same way i'm going to create three rows three columns second column and the third column and this i want the border to be 1 and the cell spacing that is there it should be zero so that it does not confuse you guys spell cell spacing zero in the same way i am going to create two more rows that will be a row 2 column 1 column 2 column 3 and then you have a row 3 column 1 row 3 column 2 and row 3 column 3 i'll save this so now one when you want to merge two rows together you are going to use a row span when you are going to merge two columns together you are going to use column span so now i want to merge this row 1 column 1 with row 2 column 2 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go for this row 1 row 1 column 1 and here i'm going to write as row span i want to merge two rows together so now you can see that the row 1 column 1 and the row 2 column 2 are merged both the spaces are being taken by only one row that is a row 1 column 1 then what about this row 2 column 2 this looks something abrupt so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete this row 2 column 1 so once i'm going to delete that row 2 column 1 you have a row 1 column 1 and row 2 column 2 within the same row that is in row 1 row 2 column 1 inside the same row inside the same column itself now when you want to merge two columns together now think that i want to merge this row 3 column 2 with row 3 column 3 so what i'm going to go is i have to go to this row 3 column 3 row 3 column 3 row 3 column 2 and i have to merge it with row 3 column 3 so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go to this row 3 column 3 i'm going to give column span i want to merge or you can also merge three columns together let me merge three columns together so when i have to merge the three columns together i have to start with row 3 column 1 so you have to you have to add the column span in the first a column or a row which you are merging so i'm going to add the co column span here and i'm going to write 3 and all the three columns are merged so i have to delete the other three columns to have a beautiful table so this is how you can merge your columns and your rows and create beautiful tables which can be very efficient in your web pages in order to make make the data or information more understanding to the viewers so i'll just be giving the color as well here bg color and save this so this is how you can create your own tables with the help of all the attributes and all the tags that are there for the for creating table in html so this is all for today's video meet you again with a uh, some more contents of html in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning Bye